guys thank you so much for clicking on this video today i'm going to give you an art and crafts room tour so to those who have already subscribed to my channel thank you so much and guys i miss you all especially to those who are very engaging who left comments on my video and for those who are new to my channel i hope you'll enjoy the content of this video and give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel so guys let's get started so guys my art and crafts room used to be a bedroom then it became my walk-in closet and i transformed it to my art and crafts room so i'm showing you how my art and crafts room looks like six months ago and after i made a little makeover so when you get inside the room, behind the door is where you can find my hand lotion, my latex gloves when I'm painting, and my scissors and my goggles. I usually use these goggles when I'm doing mosaic art since I'm going to be breaking plates. On the left side of the wall, you can see my lighting equipment when I'm filming. I use this equipment and on the floor, are just some of my acrylic paintings. I usually put a paper towel for cleaning up and my blow dryer for my acrylic painting the lowest drawer I put my uh, glue gun and my drill bit and the next drawer I put my fabric paints and metallic paints and glitters and my flat iron after I do fabric painting I use this to dry up paint and some framing nails the next drawer, I have my soldering gun, my supply of glue sticks, and also my special scissors for cutting metal. So keep my cotton tips and swabs that I use for painting. In the next drawer, I keep my sewing scissors, my pliers, and my blowtorch for my painting. And another drawer for pens. In my console table drawer is where I keep my measuring tapes, my electric scissors, my cutter, and some pin cushions. There's also a built-in space here where I keep some containers where I put my sewing needles, my pins, and some sewing threads on my wall I have a shelf where I place some of my acrylic pour paintings I like the color pink and with this painting I was using a uh, paint leftovers I just poured uh, paint leftovers on a canvas and also on a plastic pair to create this decor
inside the room is a big closet and on the right side of the closet is where I put my apron my canvas materials my sewing machine extra bulbs for my lighting system and I arrange my canvases here in different sizes there's two boards with a rack where I can just slide in the canvases and organize them on the left side of the closet is also where I put my other art materials all my art materials are usually from Arteza especially the canvases and the paint so on the left side there's ward racks like big ward baskets and I put all my acrylic painting here in tubes the first track is my Liquitex basics and I have the 48 pieces and two boxes of paint brushes and the other box I got that last Christmas and a box of uh, gloves for working gloves when I'm painting the next drawer is where I put my Arteza paint supplies so I got several I got 10 of the iridescent colors and two boxes and one big box of um, the regular acrylic paint colors and also uh, this one it's the 24 pack I was planning to buy the metallic colors too and also their pens their color pens are really nice on the next rack is where I put my glue for my mosaic work my different pouring medium from different brands and this one is glue potty glue and adhesive i also have here some squeezies and syringes and some pouring medium from deco art liquitex and flutrol you can see here i have also some extra trays that i can use when i'm doing my painting below is a bin it's a plastic bin and this is where i keep my uh, filming equipment so guys i recently did a makeover on the room i took off this wall hanging art and moved the table and i added some plants for clean air so these are my face pots uh, this is like a calyx shelf that I used from IKEA and this is where I put my plants since I'm recently making face pots this is where I keep all my pot materials below you can see several pots and some small plants that I use for decorating and right next to it's a trash can and on that wall you can see a work of art of my friend uh, her name is Mylene Osdower she's an artist and I got that uh, tapestry there from the American Arts website and that's her work of art so if you can check out her channel I'll put the link on the description box of this video and on the wall is the shelf that you've seen earlier but I added some paintings adding plants to my acrylic paint and you can also see I put some plants that are on propagation water propagation this is an IKEA frame and this is where I keep my acrylic tube paints and you can see here a prayer plant a calthea and the console table that I've moved in the middle, that's where I put my, my laptop computer. So here are some of my art supplies and I also added some plants here. This plant is really cute and I like it because it has purple touches. I love purple color. So this area here, this is where I keep my gizmos and gadgets. So you can see here more art supplies like markers, pens, weighing scale, 
more acrylic paint and some of my soap making supplies and on this side behind the door of the closet you can see some of my projects for my face mask um, I put all my collection of my face mask here and you can see here I'm gonna show you one this is the topmost I put my favorite ones which I think is my prototypes and the one that I like most to keep for myself and the next bag would be all of the denim face mask they're all fitted which I will be painting later on using fabric paint and here the basket that I have under my table is now a basket of some of my supplies and by the window sill you can see here some baby plants on water propagation and guys on the wall where i used to put my console table and my hanging wall art is now a shelf it is where i keep all my cute collections so in one shelf i have harajuku collection and i also have a hello kitty and my melody collection so guys this is the place where i work I spend my time making notes and conceptualizing what I need to do with my projects. This is actually a happy place for me. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give me a big thumbs up, hit like, turn on the notification bell. So I will see you next time on my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.